Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building a house that is inspired by a puzzle that I did just a few days ago. And yeah, I completed it and it's quite a colourful puzzle. And there's a lot of pink and green in it. And I decided that I really wanted to try that colour combination in a house in The Sims. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And at first, of course, I needed to build a shell for it. And I decided to go for like a U shape that is on its side. So more like a C shape even. And yeah, I wanted to try a different shape as well. And I thought that I would like nestle the balcony almost on in the C shape just to have a little bit of a different shape that I normally have or that is all that usual. And here I'm starting with the color scheme. So as you can see, green and pink. And I even got a little bit of pink in the roof. So it's a purplish pinkish roof. And I thought that looked really cool. And I really wanted to try and have that color combination because I really liked it on the puzzle. And then I started with like the doors and also with the windows and as you can see I used some platforms this time. Um, I really switch it up or try to switch it up from platforms and like just moving the house up a little bit. I think both types are really useful and have different advantages. And in this case, I thought I would just use platforms just because I wanted to. And I decided that I would use white doors and windows just because I thought it would complement the green a lot because it's such a contrast with that. And it also fits quite nicely with the pinkish color that I used. And as you can see, I did the kitchen in that corner and I even had like a breakfast nook there and I decided that in the entrance area I would do the dining table for like more people and I really liked using the newer chairs that are the like, custom content chairs that we had access to and I used the matching bar stools as well for it just because I thought well matching is good and in the living area that I had I wanted to include green but it didn't really match what I was going for the darker green so I decided to stay with the more orangey and pinkish route and I used the newer table or side table as well I just really liked using them because of course they are new uh, like they're not new but new-ish kinda and yeah the novelty hasn't worn off yet and I actually think they are one of the like better items and more modern ones of course because yeah I only have the base game and some of the items are quite old school and the modern ones really fit well in the office that I put to the right of the entrance, I used those orangey wood toned bookshelf and I think they actually, like I wouldn't normally use them, I think they are a little bit strange, I don't like the wood tone all that much, but in this instance it fit really well and I was actually really glad that I could use them this time because sometimes I like use the same items over and over again and it gets it get kind of boring and I was really glad that I found something else to use. And I then painted all the walls and I wanted to take the colors that I did outside and bring them inside but also add a little bit because I didn't want it to look boring. And yeah, I think I managed that with the stone and like that um, wall that has those huge panels that I used in the bedroom and I think also in the front in the office. And then I furnished the bedroom and I moved on to like skill building items and 
some other furniture items. Afterwards, I moved on to the kids' room and I decided to use the bank beds. The novelty of that has also not worn off yet and I really like using them and I think it is actually really cool. Also, of course, the beds that we have with the bunk beds are also new for base game users because they are actually from parenthood, I think. So yeah, it's really cool to have something new as well to use. Then I moved on to the outside and I put down a grill and some dining area. I also used the monkey bars just because I did actually have like a child's bedroom and I actually could use them. And then I started to decorate essentially in the backyard. Just put down um, some lounge chairs also and I also separated the area with the grill from the lounge chairs with a half wall. And then I put a bunch of those planter boxes for the windows down outside and yeah I really like using them because I think they have an, they give like a nice touch to the house and then I actually started with the decorations tab and put a bunch of the things down that are nice to have but not necessarily like something that you actually need for a distance but I really like decorating I think it brings the whole build together oftentimes. And as you can see, I am at the moment putting down rugs everywhere in the office and the living room and of course also the bedrooms. And I really struggled for to find a rug for under the bed in the parents' bedroom. And essentially I just gave up because I thought, okay, I have a rug in like the area where the couches and the dresses are. So I just decided it's fine like that. I didn't need anything else. And now I'm just putting down some finishing touches with the plants, which is always the last thing that I do usually. And then I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!